Look at how nasty my seats look from working on the track cock. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Rides. Today we're going to be working on cleaning the leather and conditioning the leather of the track cock. There's a reason why most of my leather vehicles, the leather is really nice on them. And that's because I always take care of them. I've never really gotten it to be this bad. So I'm going to be creating a different series. For example, a detailing series. I'm going to be creating a maintenance series. Uh, and I'm going to walk you guys through the steps of like what I do. And like, for example, when I maintain my vehicles, in this case, I'm going to be detailing. But you can see the track hawk is pretty, pretty filthy. As you can see, there's a bunch of you can see right there it's like it's got a like a little black bluish tint to it this that's from my jeans so what i already did here is i already vacuumed the truck okay i cleaned my door sills and you want to always have like a little brush because what i do is you want to make sure you get all the little dirt that's inside these crevices if you don't do that what's going to happen is that if you apply you know you clean it and you apply conditioner all that stuff all that sand's going to stay in there and it's going to create it's basically going to become a sandpaper so you don't want that because it's going to pre it's going to do pre-wear on your leather or premature wear on the leather so you don't want that you want to have it as clean as possible before you start cleaning it and then do the conditioning process i don't know if i'm going to be able to get this out I'm hoping I will without having to use an all-purpose cleaner you want to be very careful when you have leather like this because if you use an APC you can get rid of the dye on the paint or you can it can start cracking so you want to be very careful you want to use things that are going to be beneficial to the leather you want to think about leather like lotion you know you're not going to put on thinner right on your skin or you're not going to put something that's going to be very caustic to your skin you want to use things that are going to condition it and make it soothing and stuff like that so the same thing goes with leather as you can see this door i already cleaned it and i already conditioned it and the way that i cleaned it is i got a this is actually a special blend of a chemical it's called wool light and I mix it into a gallon and I get a lot of use out of this wool light because wool light is very it actually conditions the leather you don't have to add something else but I still do because the track hawk was sitting in the dealership for about a year I had to condition my dash for like three times in order for it to actually grab the or not eat up all the conditioner that I have put on there so as you can see this one's already all conditioned this one look at how silky it's smooth it feels or uh, it looks I'm sorry it's already nice and clean everything and um, I'm gonna show you guys how I use the wool light to clean the light okay so we have our other door and it's obviously it's pretty filthy you, I don't know if the camera could pick it up but there's a lot of little dirt everywhere I always tell my kids not to put their shoes on the leather because you could tear especially leather like this that it's very high quality leather it's very soft it could tear very easily even if you have keys on the side or a phone on my Escalade there's um there's an area where the front driver's seat it's really scratched from a person that used to have it before me where um, they had their phone and it scratched it up really nasty but let's start I'm gonna use the wool light and wool light you have you have to apply you have to be very generous because the leather is gonna start soaking it up okay so I put a lot it's okay about the window because normally I clean the windows at the end and you can let this stuff linger nothing's gonna happen to the leather be careful the speaker look at how it's like black right there just from the spray the spray down so what I do is I get a little board brush and I just agitate the leather very softly you don't really want to use a lot of pressure when working on leathers because obviously you could scratch it or you could damage it the 
then after that you get your microfiber interior towels and then you just clean it. The door is done. And if you touch it, it feels really silky. And that's what the wall light's supposed to do. So the back two doors are done. I'm gonna work on the, on the back passenger seats and then the back driver's seat. So I'm gonna work on these. And whenever you work on stuff like this, you always wanna start from top down. You never wanna start from the, like, let's say here, and then you work up. Because let's say that this is really dirty and you already cleaned this. And then you start on this and it, and it falls down, you're gonna have to clean again. So always whenever detailing or whenever you wash a car, you always start top down. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on this part. And when I'm working on bigger surfaces, I actually use this. It's a, I don't know if it's a boar hair but, or a horse hair brush, but this is very gentle. I think I bought this when I bought like a Kiwi set at Walmart or something like that. It was like maybe seven bucks. But this is awesome. I love this. So obviously again, you're gonna spray very generous. Very generous. Who cares if it's dripping down? And then I hit it. You wanna hit everything. You wanna make sure that you get And then get your microfiber and then you start from top down. And you also want to get the sides. Typically the sides and the very top are not that dirty. But you still want to get them because you also want to condition all those areas. So there you can see our leather is starting to dry and it's actually feeling really really silky compared to the other ones it feels really soft i love wool light for leather okay so now i'm going to do the bottom and i usually break it up in sections you don't really want to do too much of an area because you kind of want to keep track if there's like a stain or something I'm gonna do the front seat, which is the dirtiest, cause obviously this is the one that gets used the most. It's really black right here. Obviously it's got some black stains. I'm guessing that's grease or something. When I was working on the track hawk and I sit on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it really good. can see that the wool light took off those black stains those really black nasty stains look at how nice it looks there was a big black stain here a big one here and I don't know if you can see this part right here where it was really like blue from the jeans I like to wear jeans um, and you know how the dye sometimes transfers especially when they're new this part this part was really blue or blackish look at it now looks amazing so i'm done cleaning the seats i'm gonna show you guys the next process of how i condition it the only thing that i that i use as conditioner different other than le a leather serum is on the dash i'm gonna clean this up right now but on the dash i actually use a chemical called 303 and that chemical has uv protection on there so i use that on the door and on the dash but everything else on the seats, I use a leather serum. I use a mixture of Chemical Guys leather conditioner, and I use another serum, I forgot what it's called, which is a lot more watery. It's specifically for, for seats that have like these pinholes, because you don't want thick leather serum getting stuck in here. With this, it's actually sprayable. And what I like to do is just um, be generous 
and as you can see the leather serum it's working working real nice and you don't really have to apply like a whole lot of this you just want to you want to just make sure that it covers it all there you can see what I sprayed on here is like perfect I forgot this part right here make sure you cover it real good and this will protect it as well from from getting stained or anything like that it'll make it really nice and I guess um, soft it makes it really soft this leather is really soft actually the care instructions for this leather it says just to use hot water but the way that we're doing it it's gonna last like this even if the truck has like hundred fifty thousand miles the leather's never gonna crack or anything like that and then you just leave it like that and if there's any excess you could get a microfiber a brand new microfiber towel clean and then just wipe it just to take off like the little excess so the, the seat doesn't feel any greasy Obviously this isn't, you don't have to exactly use my way. There's no really correct or wrong way to do these things. Um, except, you know, I, obviously I, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while. I just hope my tips helped out. If you guys like this information, please consider subscribing. Please share this to friends and family, especially if they have leather seats. Thank you guys. Peace. I'm out.